Okay. So I... So that's 30, 35. Okay, so that's going to be 8, 9, 10, 11. His bonus is 11, so he's got a 24 you would have to beat. I think he's First going. find out if I can succeed with a roll. You know what? I'm going to give you the d20. Okay, so that's that's a good success. 16, but uh, uh, 16 to 24 is what? 8? Yep. So I'm going to put one of these away and use this for the little guy. That way I know which dice goes where. Okay. Uh... I think the May I ask a game-related question? Sure. Please. Sure. What's One up? of the destiny cards I drew came up as destiny, or it, it doesn't have seem to have a picture on it, and just says destiny, and in the name it says step D. Okay. Uh, here's what you need to do: uh, open up your character sheet, uh, and I'll kind of follow this with you. Katsumi, it may be one of those that I, I, I did not get turned over the way that I wanted to. Okay. All right. You are not in the enhanced display. That's okay. We can take care of that. Um, I see the card. Do you see the arrows, the up and down arrows to the left oh, of that card? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and click one of those arrows. Okay. okay, there. Okay. Yep, now there you go. Something. When I was when I was loading the new cards and step D is one of the new cards, I may not have gotten it turned over the way that I wanted to. Uh, as a matter of fact, oh, okay. let me let me open that up real quick so that I can make sure that I take care of it. Uh, that is cause. It was it uh, four Destin or five destiny? Five destiny. Okay, let me make sure that this card is turned over. Missed, nope, step D was not turned over. That See, that was my fault. That's the only one that I missed, though. So, <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm sure it's the only one I missed. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. your story, and you're sticking to it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so thus far, you've made a die total of 16. Okay. Um uh, uh, mm -hmm. Chris, you've made a die total of 16 thus far. Do you want to try and throw anything at it? Uh, part, first off, question, if does a po possibility, a possibility technically automatically get me the, uh, needed adding a plus 10 to my roll? No. Well, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, it, it'll give you a minimum of plus 10 to your roll, but that would be a roll of 26, which would get you a bonus of plus 9, <laughs> To your skill value of 13 so that yeah that would probably do it okay and I'll spend the possibility okay all right so that gets you an action total wait a minute that got you an action total of 22 and mine was what again crap uh, this is what happens yeah. when I mix things up okay uh, hang on roll to 38 Rolled a 38. That gave me 11 plus 13. That's 24. So you're only two off. Two oh, off. Then I wouldn't have, if it was a, no, if the possibility wouldn't have gotten me it, I would not have spent the possibility. Well, uh, why? Because I otherwise I would have used opponent fails. Oh, well, you, you should have told me that, and I I might have uh, been able to take I care of it. I asked the question if, the, if what, what a uh, possibility on Mac me get me up there. It would get you a die total bonus of plus 10 as a minimum, which takes you to 26. 26 would have gotten you a plus 9. Um, in this particular instance, because you rolled a 28 instead, uh, nope, same thing, plus 9. Uh, bonus is plus nine. Thirteen right. plus nine is only twenty-two, but it doesn't get you a an action total of I, of automatically plus ten. So it would have gotten me a plus nine anyhow. Yep. But I that 
the only reason why I spent the possibility was because you said it would get me up to the needed value. No, I said it would give you a die total of plus 10. Not necessarily the needed value. you got to sit there and, and calculate the whole thing. Because you needed a 24, mm -hmm. uh, a, a plus 10, or a, a, a die total of, of uh, 20, what, what would that have been? A 26, that would have given, given you a plus total of 9. 27, 28, yeah, that would have kept you at a plus 9. And then you figure your skill value plus 9. Right, but I asked would it have gotten me up there, and you said yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, look, if you want to take your possibility back, take your possibility back and play your opponent okay. fails. Okay. And understand your die total Next is time. separate of the action total. Right. So your your die total, you have to kind of juggle the bonus chart back and forth a right. little bit. Okay, so that gets you a plus one on this little search of yours. Um, a, not a plus one. A, uh, it means you've got one success where the little guy does not. Okay, so the little guy is still sitting at zero. So the idea was not necessarily to have the entire Storm Knight group go after this guy, um, but to, to kind of... of make sure that you might be able to catch him and might not. Now, you went after this guy. You've got a one point of success out of the out of five that you need. For the rest of the group, um, all of you see, uh, or all of you hear, Chris excuses himself rather nicely for going to chase down a spy. And... <laughs> And, well, I don't know he's a spy. I just he's well, acting suspicious, and I was gonna go up to question him. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But your friends at the table may not. And then there's Katsumi, who is now standing out in front of the table, ready to to kill anyone. <laughs> um, so all of a sudden, two of your group have taken their leave. And go. Well, I started taking, you know, sudden and weird action. Taking their leave is good. Yeah, that works. <laughs> so, okay. So what are the rest of you at the table doing? Well, as soon as uh, Darius becomes aware of this, he's going to look around and see if he can see either of them. And Katsumi is still in his field of vision, yes? Um, Katsumi is still in his field of vision. Um, but Chris ran off. Did, did he see where Chris ran off to? I will give you a chance to make a find roll um, with a target number of 24. Damn. Yeah. That's what Chris was fighting against. I did not expect to, to roll a 38 on those dice. And then you also rolled up a total for 22 earlier. You have yeah. been rolling high. And yeah, I know. Good. And, and an 18 is a great roll. An 18 is it's a very just... good roll. It's still considered a, a, a failure yeah. by Near 8. Yeah. Would you like to throw a card or a possibility at that? No, because as soon as he realizes that he doesn't know where Chris went... Oh no! You can uh, still see Chris. Yeah, oh yeah, that, that's who I was trying to see. It was I was trying to see where Chris went. Yeah, Chris is charging off across the town square, uh, but you can't see. Uh, yeah, Chris uh, is I automatic, know. but you can't see why he's going in that direction. If, if, if he's off running, he's clearly got a reason. I'm gonna not pursue. I'm not gonna chase Chris, but I'm gonna, you know run in the same direction to see if I can see what it is that he's after or if I can loan any help. Okay, then on, on the next round of rolls that we do, um, we'll give Chris a, a bonus of one in that particular instance, but I need to hear what everybody else at the table is doing as well. Uh, do you want me to, to go down the list or up the list? Yeah, that sounds like a good call. Okay. Uh, peaches. Um, dang it. Why am I first? 
<laughs> uh, 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 I, I can come back. A taken a, I think she's a little taken aback, but um, one of her first instincts, because Andrew, is that the guy who we were Andura. speaking with? Andura. Yeah, let me try um, and spell has, this. Andura has said he, he's a... Uh, Andrew has said that uh, he might be in danger or that there is danger. So I I wouldn't want to drop him like a hot potato to go tearing off after some something. Okay. I would hope um I I would I would hope I would I would try to stay to protect him. Okay. And All right. um I might uh who who is the fastest on our team? Have I noticed? Uh no. And Don, I would think, and um, actually, uh, I don't think Andon is. <laughs> he's not very fast. I think uh, he's got an eight, doesn't he? Uh, uh, yep. yep, he's got a dex of eight, so he's actually one of the slowest in the group. And Kets my dex is my dex is ten. Yep. And Kets and Katsumi's already taken off after him. No, um, no, Katsumi isn't moving. Katsumi is standing in front of the table, uh, between kind of the table and the town square. All right, so she's also in a protective mode. Yep. So, uh, what about Darius? Is he fast? I well, no, Darius, Darius is taking off. Move. So, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Darius fast is still, or not, uh, he's still running, but no, he <laughs> okay. Okay. And, uh, I volunteer. I'm ready for a fight. I about, haven't got uh, to you yet. <laughs> how about how about? Um, Thomas Love. Well, we're I'm I'm getting to Toma. No, um, no, I'm what are you to, doing? Wait, wait, what, what what I would do is uh I would look at the fastest in our team and I would say, You guys, go after him. The rest of us stay here. Meet up as soon as you can. Come back as you, soon as you you've, My move is a ten. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty oh, good. good. So um, it would be you and whoever else is also fast. <laughs> Which is you, Jin. And uh, ironic. Next... Yeah. It's yeah, Peaches, I... Toma, Katsumi. Yeah. So, uh, so <laughs> I, I would ask I would ask Toma to uh, uh, to go back up Darius and Chris, um, and the rest of us and the rest of us will stay here with um, Anjura to make sure he stays safe. Um, get back as soon as you can. Finally, let's run for action. Let's do this. And just take off sprinting. All righty yeah. then. Yeah. Uh, so I, I know it's bad to split the group, but um, I consider Injura our, our only asset right now. <laughs> That's not a bad assumption. <laughs> and uh, don't want any ill fortune to happen to him. So uh, I'll send the fastest off sprinting after whatever the heck Chris was running after. Okay. All right, so let me let me continue to go down the list. Darius took off after Chris. Uh, Rios, what are you doing? Ah, uh, I think I would be trying to come up with the best and most uncrackable possible code to put these uh, directions that we're getting in. Huh. Okay. Uh, there may come a time when, uh, like I said for Katsumi, there may come a time where you'll have to make a roll to determine how well your cipher works. Okay. All uh, right. All right. We know what Katsumi's doing. Uh, and Toma, are you definitely indeed running after uh, Chris and Darius? Oh, yeah. And as, as it runs here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're weird. You're really weird. Um, I'm from Darkhold, all right? Everyone there's weird. In some form or fashion. It, okay, everybody's weird in some form or fashion, period. Okay. Um, with that being said, uh, hang on. Now, we're getting towards the end of our evening already. Uh, I think I want to get one or two more rolls. Uh, we might even be able to finish all five rolls, and then we'll, we'll figure something out for, uh, for how next week is going to go. So, um, Chris, Darius... Toma. Okay. And then the rest of you are staying to protect the party and or uh, Andrea. Okay. So that's, I had to write that down. Um, so Chris, um, go ahead and roll another fine test with a plus two, if you would. 
Okay. Find. Oh, that might help. Uh, so then, uh, 97. So do I go for uh, bonus and put an existing? Yes. Or... Yes, you could do that. Uh, wait a minute. No, not existing. Wait. Not existing. Uh, that doesn't work right. Um, oh, put it, put it down in the oh, three other lines. Modifiers. Yeah, other modifiers. And you can just put a plus two if you want. That's fine. Or you could even just adjust your... No, you can't do that. you got to put it down in the other modifiers. Okay, and then... What should I as add for a description? Um, uh, um, uh-huh, yeah. Hang on a second. I got uh, combined actions. That is uh, Darius and Toma helping you to to kind of, of do things. So uh, the did I just write help or sure you could write help or combined actions or C A or however you want to do it. It it doesn't really matter as long as you remember what it's there for. Outstanding success. Outst uh, yes, that's that's a very good success. Uh, hang on just a second. I need to pop this open. How do I pop this open? Down there. Okay. So, and that exploded. Okay. All right. So, um, that means you guys are now up one, and and, and the old timer is down one. Okay. Um. So, I mean, this this could literally go on like all night, but I gave you basically two successes. I took one away from the person you're chasing and gave you guys one. So instead of just, you know, one or the other. So, okay, next one. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. And it's going to be a plus two again. All right. So... To describe what's going on while Chris is preparing for the for the dice roll, um, you guys are kind of running through the the small portion of this town. Uh, every so often, you're running through large greenery. Uh, oh no, no. Oh. Okay, and it goes to the reverse. Um, wow, goodness. Uh, and you uh, you might end up running directly into the side of a house. But because an opponent fails somehow reverse the situation. Do you have two both fail? Did you have two opponent fails? Yes. Well, in this particular oh. instance, you can't do anything because you've got a mishap. Okay. So hold on to it for like the next turn. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, anyway, you're you're running through and you see all kinds of people working in little puddles or rivers or whatever. Uh, you see various ramshackle places. There are actually a couple of really nice places. There is there is one place that actually has a yard to it. It's not a large yard, but it's a yard um, where you can actually go running through that sort of thing. So consider it to be kind of a, a good foot chase. But this little guy is is very agile okay when he has turned a corner and then you follow him to turn the cor the same corner he is nowhere to be found and then all of a sudden you find a a footprint or uh you know uh, uh some dust wiped off of the side of a house or you know something like that and you're back on the trail okay um this is supposed to go to a total of five uh five points not five rolls Five points. So go ahead and give me your next one. Oof. And the plus two continues. So roll once more. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So right now you guys are up one. Oh my. Okay. Um, well, actually you beat him. Actually, you, you beat his roll, so that gives you two. Okay. Next. Uh. This guy is running all over town like mad. Okay. Okay. This guy is starting to make me angry. I hope we catch him soon. <laughs> you don't like me when I'm Ooh, angry. Very nice. <laughs> no, don't, no, don't okay. 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 
That is I'm going back to on the trail. 14. No, that doesn't give you two. That only gives you one. Uh, let's see. I'm starting to sound like the good doctor. Okay. Uh, another roll. So you guys are on step three. Ooh. Oh, dang. Uh, the more I roll, the more like this. the help is more of a cry. Oh, wait, no. wait a minute. Were we supposed to draw cards at some point? You yes. Didn't you draw cards already? No, I didn't know we were supposed to. You get one uh -huh. Arosh Cosm card and then five Destiny cards. All right, Chris, it's up to you. Okay, rolling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's see. So that that was uh seven. Okay, so let's see. He was nope. You just barely beat him, so you got to step on him. Uh, so that puts you up at four. You're on the cusp of being able to catch this guy. You see him. He's very close, except for the four. There it is. Um, and and then he like slips around another corner or under a house or he uses a set of horses to he riles up a set of horses to keep you back while he slips through or whatever. Okay, let's hope this is okay. the last roll. Roll one more, Remy. I mean, not roll one more. I mean, uh, pick one, one more, more drama card. or destiny well, yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was waiting for the the roll first. I didn't want to you know get in the way. Okay, so a 9 gets me a minus 1. So you've got to beat a 12. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Okay. He's you, mine. You, you manage to catch up to the guy. Uh, he is a short, older man. Uh, his skin is cracked like he... You, you see it almost like the, uh, the bark on a tree. Very, very, very dry. Uh, all over his entire body. Uh, he's only about four and a half feet tall, um, and and you stop him. Uh, you discover he has a a small. Well, hold on. Let's let's describe what it would really be. Um, no, have you ever seen a large sized um, uh, music box? Something that's at least six inches by, say, four inches by eight inches. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He's got one of those, but when you open the lid on it, um, he has, uh, you know, the, the little railroad tap-tap Morse code device? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He's got one of those, and it has some kind of a strange mm -hmm. antenna on the inside. Okay, it's got a red and blue crystal that is sparking at each end uh, tied to what appear to be brass and steel connections. Okay. Um, a quick question. Did I notice him before uh, we finished receiving instructions from the elderly man or after? Before. So you probably missed maybe the last 30 seconds of the instructions that he was giving. And of course, you know, when, when you broke out of your seat and started running after this guy, he took, uh, he took a short step to see who was going to go and who was going to stay and then continued on with the instructions. Right. Okay. So I was just double checking to make sure you didn't get everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, do, you to, do you want me to scare this guy into talking? Oh, are, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Toma, Toma, are you saying that out loud? Not myself. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I was going to say, you know, he's an older guy. I don't want to give my plan away. <laughs> he might be an old guy, but he ran. Do Yes, right. and he seems to be little out of breath. Exactly. Only a little for, for how many ever minutes you guys have been running around the chicken coop. Very... Very suspicious. Now, he was almost to the edge of town from where you guys came in at by the time all of the hair pulling and running was done. All right. So. Okay, finally got you. Uh, I was just going to ask, what did you need with us? Because you were being awfully suspicious. Now, 
I see that box, and I and you just ran across three times around town. <laughs> Clearly, you were doing something wrong. I'll give you the chance to say it now, and we can settle this like gentlemen. And he closes. He closes his mouth. Uh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Stop. Persuasion test. Okay. It's going to and be difficult. So I think that's a. I think that's a twelve difficulty. Challenging. Okay. Yep. Challenging. Uh, any bonuses from my friends here, or? No, because I haven't gotten on to them just yet. Actually, you know what? Hang on a minute. Hang on before you make that roll. Um, Darius, you were closest to uh, to being able to to catch him, but what is your running speed or your dexterity? My dex, my dex is only an eight. Okay, Toma, what is your dex? Ten. Okay, so Toma Same was speed as me. Yeah, so Toma was able to kind of outrun you, Darius. So I'm going to deal with Toma first. What would you no like? Worries. What would you like to do now that you've caught uh, the the little guy? <laughs> you you just start laughing. No 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 no. Huh. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of stand in front of me a little bit, put my big arm against was like, listen here. You really don't want to get my bad side. It's been a very, very long day. So either you cooperate, or I'll make you feel very much unimaginable pain. Okay. Are you clear? So what we have here then is we've got Chris playing good cop, and <laughs> and Toma playing and you bad being cop. The, the, the very aggressive of, cop. <laughs> yeah. So what I said, that's hand, I say, let's handle this like gentlemen. Being, you know, and then he came in, and this is what we don't do if you if you decide not to tell us and handle this like gentlemen. In okay. dark cold, you don't survive by being a gentleman. Okay, so hold on a second. I need to see okay. if Toma's going to do a roll before you do your roll to give you a bonus. But I want to see what Darius intends to do, uh, if anything, once he gets there. Darius, what do you think? Um, how much it can be the tiebreaker between going for pure persuasion, pure intimidation, or just be there as a third uh, third wheel? So I, yeah, my focus it my focus is not on the 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 guy that we're chasing because after hearing Tomo say what he says. <laughs> Knowing where we are, mm -hmm. my concern is more for him because what I want to do is I want to lay my hand on Toma's shoulder and go, yes, in Farkold, that may be the case. But in Arosh, you are risking your own eternal soul. Ooh. Damn. There's, there's a real danger of corruption going down that road. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if intimidation counts for that corruption, but it depends on how Remy rolls. So here's what we're going to do. Remington, you hear, yes. you hear your friend Darius I explain what he has just explained, um, but you are from Tharkold, and you're absolutely right. The, the law of domination, matter of fact, let me uh, – oh, boy. I would have to. I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, We're balancing several realities together right yeah, now. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> you know, this is just a hypothetical, but I wonder if the law of domination, which which he is operating under, protects him from some corruption. No. no? I doubt it. It could mix no? some things up. Okay. So yeah. domination, when intimidation is an approved action, we're not worried about the approved action right now. A, su a success allows the character to draw two destiny cards and choose which one to keep. He must, okay, no, that's specifically for combat. Um, denizens of the realm tend to automatically fall into one of the two roles without conscien consciously thinking about it. Storm knights and stormers feel dominant to observers. 
but a display of weakness may swiftly change that. A player's call, intimidation, might even force a villain into a submissive role, at least temporarily. Okay. In Tharkold, intimidation and forcing, uh, or attempting to force someone into a submissive role is a preferable means of social interaction. It's what <laughs> it's it's what you as a race soldier would know. Mm -hmm. Okay. My thing is this. Um, okay. Would Toma be convinced or would it require I, I don't want to do a persuasion role from between PCs. That that just doesn't work right. I want to know from a role playing standpoint if uh, if Darius' words would have an effect on how uh, Toma would uh, would would deal with his roles, the question is: you it, guys, you guys have been together about two weeks now, maybe maybe closer to three weeks now, okay, knowing each other. So between you and Darius in particular. So would he have enough truck in Toma's life to be able to counsel him to take it easy? In a situation like this, no, because Toma is, despite being from Tharkold, a very protective person and knowing the situation, you know, could expose his friends and that kind of stuff to danger, he's willing to be a very bad person if he has to, that will not uh, persuade him from intimidating this old man. Okay. Aw, you think we're your friends. <laughs> okay, so I give me... For you. Please give me an intimidation roll um, versus a target number of 12. So it's going to be challenging. Gotcha. All right. Man, my rolls are not good tonight. Um, now you're welcome to throw throw a card or a possibility at that if you would like. Uh, let me see. Or just leave it alone and let. Uh, well, I I do have an action card that I can use for it. Okay, well that would put you up to twelve. The the That'd action total to twelve. And yes, the, the you you didn't set your your uh, difficulty number. So, but it is an action. Uh, you would no, need an it, action. It should have been draw. set. You're at yeah. standard. I just set it for twelve. Huh. That's weird. Okay. Um, when you're working with things that go through a database, if you enter something, you have to hit your tab key or move to a different field or something like that before that sets. Okay. So no big uh, deal. That probably was what it was. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let me use one of my action cards. Okay. For it. Oh, in my cards go. I stole them from you. <laughs> okay, so you play an action card. That that gives you the plus three. You can hit the plus three card on there if you want to. Um, it's not going to make any difference. But uh, So you have a basic intimidation here. Uh, you could make it... Um, uh, you could make it vulnerable or stymie. Stymie is going to affect any skill checks he has or any skill checks made against him by a penalty of two. Um, uh, whereas a um, vulnerable takes away two points of defenses. Stymie sounds amazing right now. Okay. In that case... Um, please, uh, Chris, please give me a persuasion test versus a target number of 10. Okay. And roll. Okay. Uh, Do you want to throw something at that? Or does anybody have a supporter card? Yeah, but isn't Chris disconnected? Okay. Roger that. Uh, uh, no, nobody's disconnected right now. Um, uh, yeah, that was a fine test, and 
so so you can't disconnect on flying dust. Okay. So if you want to trade cards, Chris, I have another action card. Could do uh, that. Yeah. Uh, but also I have a fair amount of possibilities. Yes, right you now. do. <laughs> you, you do, but you also, you never know which, when you might need them in the future. I have nine. Yeah, that's that's a lot. At least for right now. <laughs> yeah, I... Would you rather say the possibility of the possibility not working out as well? No, no, no. How about this? Let him has spend his possibility, <laughs> and if that doesn't work, you can see about tra trading cards. Although I don't see okay, him rolling enough. lower than three. So... Yeah, you never know. It's okay. been one of those nights, so... <laughs> Roll that... You're freaking <laughs> kidding me. Uh, well, luckily... Luckily, on a follow-up roll, adds ten to the roll. Now, well, do... it's, so it, it, it's an automatic <laughs> ten, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, yeah. So he cannot disconnect uh... on that. So, would you like to go ahead and trade that card now? <laughs> uh, no, I've got a good success. Oh, oh, well, yeah, that's true. You got a good success. Um, so let's see. Now oh, you're you're this. the question that you were asking before we got into this entire fracas was about uh what was about what again? Well, uh, what exactly was he doing? Because I was just gonna ask him what business he had with us. Then he ran cross uh, across town several times because of how long we had to do this chase. Mm -hmm. And so clearly he was doing <laughs> something wrong. And plus seeing the box. Okay. Like, what were you doing? What did you send? And please, let's be civil about this. Okay. Like, I'd rather not hurt you. So, you don't want to Toma, Toma tries to, uh, uh, Toma tries to kind of, of intimidate him and, and fails. And Darius comes in and, and starts convincing Toma that it's probably not a good idea to act the way that he's acting while you're walking away, arms wrapped around his, sh well, one of your arms wrapped around his shoulders. Uh, and, and, so, uh, to make sure he doesn't actually, you know, start fleeing the minute he spots an opening. No, well, he gentle, he, but firm grip. He at least would not start sprinting away before you have a chance to have your dice roll satisfied. Um, so uh he says I I was I was paid to spy on you. By you? What did you send is I understand it's just I rather want to know what bus my, my business has been he says shared without my knowledge. He says what are you going to pay me to tell you? Uh, I reach into my you know, wallet or whatever I have and hand him like twenty bucks. He, no, it, it, you know, dollars. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say, cash. I'm going to say for this region that's not too bad. Um, uh, so he he uh, he looks at the money, and and of course in Torg all money is fluid, so it's all basically considered the same thing. So he can use this sometime later. He he basically licks his lips and looks around to make sure that nobody's listening. And he goes, "I recorded all about going to the temple. I can read lips without fail." Understood. Uh... What did you report to? How much would you say for saying I got away? Uh, he did managed to listen in the last of the conversation. He starts shaking his head. I it, he he starts he starts shaking his head. I've already sent the information. I understand, but to, wait, what information exactly? Like we didn't. Our our conversation that we had at the table about the temple what he was telling us the temple what we needed to do he all would, that information he relayed he was reading Andrew's lips and he, he'll tell you right. as much as you ask him right i understand but you, i also asked i managed to spot him before he had finished giving instruction yes yes so I wanted to say, if you were in like contact with this person because you cut off mid sentence, I was thinking you you state you because obviously if you did manage to get away, you would continue this conversation. Yes. 
once my job is finished relaying the information, I am done. I I understand, but I did stop. I was did kind of chase you away before we finished our conversation. Did I? Did we not? Yes, but you didn't take anything serious away from away from what I transmitted. The instructions to the temple. Yes, but I, I you know, above board right now. I he we didn't get to the end of the instructions, so he. No, still you got part. you didn't get to the end of the conversation. And there were two sets of instructions, if you'll remember what I, what I said <laughs> earlier. There were directions to the temple, and then there were tips and tricks about how to stay alive on your way there. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, listen, old man. Who hired you to do this? Give us an appearance. And, and maybe he, I'll let you live. His right eye suddenly expands like an anime character, and he crosses both hands across one another and kind of twirls them about, and he says, The Insidious Wuhan. Oh, God. <laughs> that ain't sound familiar to you. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I had to do it. <laughs> This is gonna be oh, fun. Is, this, is gonna, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? Uh, I believe I, I like above game. This is the one who I believe to have burned. Right? Like that was he was part of the camp we attacked. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait. This camp. Is that where Artorias died? Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Can I, yeah. I want to ask, okay. can, I, can I smash his head in when I see him? Oh, yes, you can. I mean, Wuhan's not this fine, fellas. He was just. No, 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 not this guy. All right, look, yeah. thank you for the information. You're free to go. Tell them that we didn't catch you. All right? right. Or don't tell not them away. anything. <laughs> yeah, or nothing or, at all. Yeah, don't tell them anything more. And if they do, you said you got away, but you were freaked out. Your job is done. Come on. Because because if you don't future. do that, he will come find you. Okay. I tap him on the soldier and send him on his way. Okay. You better be lucky to have me on a leash. Let's, uh, okay, so we're going to bring this evening for, to a close since we're uh, 17 yeah. minutes past due. Um, uh, now, uh, Justin had to go and pick up his little ones, so uh, that's why he had to split out. Um, right. Next, uh, if you have notes to make, go ahead and make them. I have a note to make myself. And then if you have any questions, go ahead and, and ask them. So to have it 100% clarified is that they only know the path to the to the uh, temple. They do not know if while you're traveling through this area, make sure to watch out for a blah. Because if you don't watch out for blah, you might do you know, something, something, something. It was just the direct uh, line to the temple. Uh, something like that. Now, hold on. Hold on. As uh, as uh, Toma is talking about this guy can go, uh, Anjura and the rest of your friends are able to come up with the town constable, who is actually an Englishman in uniform, to take the spy into custody. And and as Toma is saying that you're free to go, uh, the constable says, "No, you're not." And why not? I mean, we're not pressing charges. We've we just we've just ran around town for no gosh darn reason. So you're not pressing charges. I mean, no, who we're called not. the cons? Uh, excuse me, sir. Who called you here to begin with? Andrew speaks up. He says, "I did." Uh, okay, I wish I could fair, do. Fair. You know. Yes, and Andrew could be in danger because of this. There's a, Aha. a simple misunderstanding. Ah. This old man's good to go. I mean, if he do I like to listen to Andura in the first place, then it's... yeah, Andura could be in danger. Yeah, it's just a learning of there's because he this is just the middleman right here. Uh, he had no idea what you know what's really going on. He's just been given a task to listen in. He doesn't know the the depth of the of what he was doing. Yes, but anyone who would take money from the insidious Wuhan, <laughs> uh, eye roll included, um, <laughs> uh, deserves 
to the inconvenience of a night in jail and understand that he has endangered many. And thus the constable uh, listening to all of this looks at the, the little spy and he says, yes, you are to be remanded to custody. And for how long? Dependent upon British jurisprudence. And you can tell this guy is is a uh, is more of a Victorian type than uh, than what a modern Bobby might look like in England. And well, what of his speaking device? Uh, uh, pardon me, sir. The box with which he was communicating with his masters. He turns and looks, and and uh, he he picks up the box and opens it. Oh, his eyes get really wide. They're saucers, okay. And he says, "Thank you for pointing that out to me." And he closes oh. the box and takes it off from around the guy's neck and stuffs it in a pouch that he does have. Oh, uh, now he just bribed the constable somewhat. How did you bribe the constable somewhat? I mean, we just gave him a very expensive gift that he can just pocket. Well, you know, there is that, but uh, uh, who knows how expensive a, uh, a Morse code device uh, of the 1880s would be. You know, how, 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 ex how expensive would that be? You know, I'm not looking it up. Because it's just a, uh, it's just a, a thing in the game. So, <laughs> well, yes, there are also but... using a possibility shard as the transmitter. So it is, it has very much significant uh -huh. value. Ha! That's if he sees the eternity shard. You guys did. He may not know what it looks like. I hadn't seen it. <laughs> no, that's right. That's right. Only actually, only Chris saw it. Yep. And yep. So I'm like, ah. So what are you going to tell the constable? Uh, honestly, that uh, that 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 uh, we need the box. It contains per your your personal information. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm not. There's, it's not sure a recording device. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's. I mean, I doubt he if he's more to the you know Victorian and the you know, Orashian side. I doubt he quite realized what a recording device might be. Would like, he reckon? If, if we I... could probably explain it to him, and then he would remember. Uh... But right now, it wouldn't even cross his mind if I just say, "Oh, it has my personal information on it." He'd be like, "How?" Well, you might w offer to render the the uh, device harmless and useless. By taking the crystal out of it. Uh, <laughs> but right now it feels awkward because it's like it's already been taken into his bag. <laughs> uh huh. So <laughs> let's just say this is a moot point. Law enforcement has yeah. already taken into account the uh, the uh, uh, transmitting device. Um, and you guys haven't had an opportunity to examine it to see if indeed that it, the crystal um, uh, powers the device for more than producing Morse code. After all, mm. it did take power in you know in in those times when Morse code uh, when those uh, transmitters were first made, it did take power to to get their message out. So it would make sense that it's for both an antenna and for processing, but of course you're not going to have any memory to it. Right. So uh, I'm not sure how useful it would be. I mean, other than the fact it is a eternity shard, and I'm just gonna say I've lost my chance on it. I was like, I'm the only one who knows. I've that's a good point. Be aware of how valuable these things are right at the moment, because I haven't had much personal experience uh, to understand how p valuable or powerful these things are. I'm just gonna say that bygones be bygones. This is at, if this could be one of two things. This could be a uh, like the this could be an opportune time for the constable to get you know 
you know, to prove how dirty he is and you know launder some you know, mo- you know money by selling it off or who <laughs> it might even be a re- able to be reverse tracked by whoever owned the device to begin with mm-hmm. and be in actual danger of us to be carrying it around could be doubtful but you don't know yeah. <laughs> we i don't know so i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna cut my loss here and just drive on. my hands off of it and the rest of us don't know any better right <laughs> you guys can't put, complain <laughs> so Andura, at the end of this explains to you your lead has been cut in half by this one and he nods towards the spy. You now you be own... safe. I can find my way. Let's say that. Uh... Some timey wimey wiggly woggly thing. I it is not bigger on the inside. Uh, <laughs> but it's not smaller either. Uh, my friends, <laughs> if if you wish to continue your journey to stay ahead of the forces which follow you, which I do not know this Wuhan, so I do not know which forces he commands. But you should go. We should... uh, uh, I I look at my group. We should leave immediately. Thank you, Andrew. Be safe. And the same to you. Um, if you wish, you may still desire to find a tracker, which may help you regain some of that time, and my instructions may help you as well. However, you will have to do it quickly. And he did recommend some trackers, didn't he? Yes, yes, he did. Um, and where to where to try to hunt them up? Well, you can. Um, uh, do do you all agree that you need a tracker? Yeah. Yes. Probably a good idea. Okay, then you can you can get a tracker. Uh, it's a hundred dollars a day, uh, and uh, you do find one. He, how do I express this? Which tracker do I go with? I'll 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 cook up a tracker for you. Okay, over All the right. coming week. Um, and and uh, we can we can afford to pay a good one because thanks thanks to uh, Rios there. Well, actually, there's only one in town right now. The others are out with hunting parties or with uh, with others. But there was only three in town to begin with. We're only three in town to begin with. And uh, did uh, our, our contact recommend? We would only pick one that the our contact recommended. Andrew says this one will be fine. All right. Okay, then, make uh, tracker for next week. Ah! Gotcha. Okay. Any questions before we take off for the night? Uh, only no. that uh, we will uh, gather what supplies and Jorna recommended, and uh, if if we could, uh, you know, buy him a meal at least at the cafe. My goodness, he's given us a lot of information and directions. He ushers you out of town, um, but yeah, once okay, you speed- want. Once you all get back to the cafe, each of you are given two Boda bags full of water. Okay, to to carry on yourselves, two Boda bags of water. That's going to be important, I bet. Yes. <laughs> very hot, very humid. Uh, the humidity will take it out of you before the heat does. Um, okay, any other questions? No. Am I have, going to have to change out of my dress again? Most likely. Uh, you will live. Andrew recommends it would be a good idea for you to travel in um, clothes more conducive to traveling in the jungle, and your dress is not. Uh, but it doesn't take you anything to find the clothing that you need, especially being rich. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yes, you can even have it like you know tailored to match, and and you know it, it, they might no. tailor it on you. As, no, we no, don't have the no, time. no time for tailoring. So un, un, <laughs> unless Rios wants to run after you, um, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, anyone else? 
I'm good. Okay. No, we, we we should take off immediately. Okay. All right. So you guys uh, get some clothing, you get your water, uh, and you get out of town. And we will pick up with scene two at the beginning of next week. Um, gotcha. Now, for, I've, I've got some homework for all of you. Uh, if you would get into the chat, and, and I think it's back to the... Oh, I don't remember where it is specifically. Let me... No, that's Nefrakim. I need to get back here. Uh, you're going to be looking back towards, and you don't have to read all of this stuff, but back towards the May 8th. If you look back towards May 8th, you can kind of figure out some things about Sir uh, Fisk. Uh, I wrote this story a long, long time ago. Okay, like two, 2004, 2005. I'm not kidding. Um, and then there are some other things that, that are being discussed, uh, like uh, how we want to do, uh, since, since there are changes coming to the experience system, how we want to do those, okay? Um, and I want to talk to you guys as a group about them, unless you just want me to come up with something to stick with it. So, uh, it's a lot of reading, but it's I think it's worth it. And I, you guys get a chance to help make a decision on how the game runs. Because they are getting ready to change it. So, uh, alright, my friends, I am going to uh, say adieu and good night. And we'll see you next week. And if you guys have any questions, put them in, in the chat here and I'll answer them as quick as I can. Alrighty. Good night, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Thank you all for being here. You're so wonderful. Good night. Good night. Rahab. Absolutely. My, my honor. <laughs>